Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a modern USB keyboard to your Apple Lisa. The Apple Lisa is a very interesting computer, but parts and peripherals for it can often be very expensive. The keyboards in particular can be very pricey. As you can see, they frequently sell for hundreds of dollars, which was much more than I was willing to pay. To make matters worse, Lisa keyboards use a proprietary interface that can only be found on Lisa's, so using other keyboards without modification is out of the question. I've been searching for some sort of keyboard translator for a long time that will allow the use of a modern keyboard on the Lisa, and I only recently found a solution in the form of the Lisa Keys project. Lisa Keys allows you to connect a modern USB keyboard to your Lisa using an Arduino and a few other inexpensive parts. Let's dive right in and get started with the build. The parts required for this project are an Arduino Uno, a USB host shield, some wire, a quarter inch stereo male audio jack, and a USB keyboard. Links to these parts can be found in the description below the video. The first thing that you are going to want to do is cut three short lengths of wire and solder one end of each wire to the tip, ring, and sleeve of the audio jack. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the soldering process, but you can see the final result here. You can make the wires as long or short as you like, as long as they are able to plug into the Arduino. Now you can put the protective shroud onto the audio jack and set it aside for a moment. Next, grab the Arduino and the USB host shield and plug the shield into the Arduino. Now connect digital pins 4 and 5 on the Arduino to ground using short lengths of wire. This puts the Lisa Keys code into reverse translator mode allowing us to use the USB keyboard to control the Lisa. There are other modes as well, such as tester mode, which allows you to test a real Lisa keyboard by plugging it into the Arduino, but I will not be covering them in this video. You can always go check out the Lisa Keys GitHub page if you want to learn more about these other modes. Now we are nearly done setting up the hardware. Plug the three wires from the audio jack into the Arduino, connecting the jack's tip to the Arduino's VN pin, the ring, or middle part of the jack, to digital pin 6, and the sleeve, or bottommost part of the jack, to ground. You can use a multimeter to test continuity between the different sections of the jack and the wires in order to determine which wire connects with which part of the jack. If you are unsure where to plug the wires into the Arduino, remove the shield and you will see that all of the Arduino's pins are labeled so that you know where to connect the wires when you put the shield back on. Lastly, plug the USB keyboard into the USB port on the shield. Now we can upload the Arduino code to the device. If you don't already have it, download and install the Arduino IDE from the link in the description. Once it is installed, open the IDE and select the Tools menu. Now click the Manage Libraries option and we are presented with this window that allows us to install additional Arduino libraries. We need to install the library for the USB host shield so that we can make use of its functionality. Search for USB host shield in the search box and you should see a library appear. Click install and wait for the library to be downloaded and installed into the IDE. Next, close out of the Arduino IDE and download the Lisa Keys code from the link in the description. Extract the zip file and go into the Lisa Keys folder. Now double click the lisakeys.ino file and it should open in the Arduino IDE. Plug the Arduino into the computer using a USB cable and go to the tools menu in the Arduino IDE. Make sure that the board is set to Arduino slash Genuino Uno and that the port is set to whichever port your Arduino is connected to. Now you can click the upload button and the code will be uploaded to the device. Now all that is left to do is to test the device with an actual Lisa. Unplug the Arduino from your computer and plug the quarter inch jack into the keyboard port on the front of the Lisa. Power the Lisa on and you should see the power LED on the Arduino illuminate. 
Please excuse the weird scrolling screen on my Lisa. I've been meaning to fix this, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Now you should be able to select a boot device using the keyboard by pressing the Apple key and the number of the boot device that you want to select. Since modern keyboards don't have an Apple key, the Alt key is used instead. In addition, the Control key on the USB keyboard is used to serve the function of the Option key on the Lisa keyboard. Once the Lisa boots up, you should be able to use the USB keyboard to type and control all the functions of the Lisa that were controlled with its original keyboard. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will try to answer them. If you want additional information about the Lisa Keys project, follow the link down in the description to the project's GitHub page. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.